What did he throw? Was that- What was- that? Hey everyone, so for today's video, I am going to be watching The Silence of the Lambs 1991. So this is one of those films that it seems like everyone has seen, everyone loves it, but because apparently I've lived under a rock my entire life, I have not yet seen it. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, the background has changed because I have officially moved into my very own apartment. So since I do not have furniture and I cannot cover my one mattress on the floor, you guys are going to have to see it. You guys are going to have to endure it. So I'm just really excited about it. I just want to let you guys know. So I will now be quiet regarding my new living situation and I'm just going to talk about the movie from here on out. Um, I don't know anything about The Silence of the Lambs. I am assuming that it is a psychological thriller. Um, has something about lambs. I think it has to do with something regarding someone, someone's mind. That's the only thing I know. I have managed to avoid as many spoilers as possible, I think, as a result of living under said rock. But other than that, I really don't know. I don't know anything about the movie and I have seen the color, the cover and I don't know what that means either. So, um, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. And don't forget, if you have not yet subscribed, you totally should consider subscribing. It doesn't cost a thing. It's totally free and it helps the channel so incredibly much so please do consider and you can always unsubscribe the second that you start disliking the content which i'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen so totally should consider it and if by chance you are interested in watching the full-length reaction along with me it'll be down in my patreon the link is down below in the description that's creepy with all the fog crawford wants to see you in his office She's a cop? Oh, FBI. I should- Oh, yep. I look at his hat. FBI. Hmm, I wonder where they work. Okay, so she's an FBI agent and she's practicing. It's not like a self-made obstacle course for fun. This is so early 90s. I can't handle it. Okay, so this is based on a novel. I did not know that. Okay. Behavioral science services. Okay, I'm gonna start guessing that the FBI is doing tests because they're in a behavioral science wing. And with me thinking it's a psychological thriller, are they running the tests on her? What What are you seeing? What do you, What do you see that's freaking you out? Is it like animal carcasses on the floor? Oh. Uh, no, thank you. No, no, no. No thanks. Okay, no one told me there would be disgustingness in this film. Oh, they skin people? Ugh. Enough. Enough of that. Morning, Mr. Crawford. Sorry to pull you off the course at such short notice. Your instructors tell me you're doing well. Yeah, I was, di I was dying of heat stroke. Thank you for rescuing me. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral profile. Yeah, who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Wait. Oh, Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter? So, this is the one murderer that you cannot get to talk to, so you take a rookie off the course who has no experience to do it. Logic. I love it. Let's go with it. Why the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? I wish there were. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. And you're to tell him nothing personal, Starling. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Oh, no. From a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. I don't trust this man. Look at him. Do not trust him. Will you be in Baltimore overnight? Because this can be quite a fun town if you have the right guide. <laughs> Throw something at him. He's weird. He hates us. Thinks I'm his nemesis. Because you are his nemesis. You just called him a pure psychopath. What? <laughs> His mouthpiece and restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. What do you rip off? Her ear or something? The doctors managed to reset her jaw, more or less. Oh, her jaw. Save one of her eyes. <gasps> His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. Okay, but I really do like the lighting of the scene. It shows, like, kind of the seriousness of the scene, and I feel like, you know, you're really talking about the evilness of Hannibal. Is I think that it really just highlighted that. It's really cool. You'll do fine. They're making me nervous the way they're talking about him. This is so scary. This is like one of those haunted houses where they yell at you. I don't like those. <gasps> nope. 
No, 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 he looks so scary, holy moly. That expires in one week. I think they chose a really good actor because like, I don't know, he has this crazy look in his eye that really makes you feel uneasy. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Please tell me. The newspapers won't say. This one likes to skin his humps. Most serial killers no. keep some sort of trophies from their victims. People skin? I didn't. You ate them? No, oh, you ate yours. Yep. He's like, they were quite scrumptious. Hmm. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Agent Starling? Is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? Why is he trying to dig so deep? All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end of the Give me back my piece of paper, you, you garbage man. Why don't you look at yourself and write down what you say? Maybe you're afraid to. Oof. <laughs> a census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Okay, but you, there's glass, so you... Okay. <laughs> Stop. I hate it. I hate it so much. Look at the blood! <gasps> oh, what did he throw? Was that... Ejaculation. What was... <clears throat> Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M-O-F-E-T. Go now! Watch out, he's gonna fling his... Ejaculation. ...at you again. Disgusting. Although the scene lasted very short, it was... Pretty scarring, honestly. It was just kind of difficult to watch. Hey. Daddy. Hey, Clarice. I guess Hannibal really hit her deeply if she's, you know, crying about it. I wonder why he wanted her to check out a doctor, though. I think that she is going to follow up with Hannibal's doctor. I think that's what's gonna happen. Clarice, phone. It's the guru. Crawford? Yeah. Thanks, Ardelia. Miggs is dead. How? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. What? Hannibal has that type of power? I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter, so... And I looked in the phone book and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. So I'm trying to understand exactly what do they want with Hannibal. I get that they want to interview and interview him and get him to speak, but I almost don't understand why they need all the information about him. Oh, a car jack. Okay, that works. She's gonna have to crawl under, isn't she? She's gonna go under, oh, of course she is. And she's gonna trap in there and there's gonna be like dead bodies and stuff, carcasses. <gasps> I'm not liking that. Oh, the amount of spiders that are probably in there. Me, no. I don't trust that. It's the middle of the night. Oh, she cut herself? What the heck? What's in there? I don't like that. Esther Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, doctor? The rest of me. Miss, the rest of me? Meaning that you rented that garage? What if you just tried hitting her instead of answering? Don't take anything from him. That was like rule number four that they listed. A towel? Oh, for her. Thank you. Your bleeding is soft. How did you? He smells it, dude. He could tell what cream you're using. Of course he could smell your blood. A shark. Why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? You wanted me to find him. His real name is Benjamin Raspell. I did not kill him, I assure you. Merely tucked him away very much as I found him after he'd missed three appointments. Just think of him as a kind of experiment. Why? What? I would be terrified seeing a head in a jar. Thank you, Barney. Okay, so I also didn't know too much about Hannibal, that he had patience. I'm offering you a psychological profile of Buffalo Bill based on the case evidence. But can you trust him? He's smart, I, I would not. The question is, do you trust Hannibal Lecter or not? The answer is always no, don't do that. 
What? Night vision? <gasps> no, okay, so he's actually going to kill this lady in front of us. This is great. Oh, not in front of the cat. Anywhere but in front of the cat. It's meowing. You are not to kill this woman if this cat has only one owner. This cat needs to eat. Can I help you with that? No. Would you? Uh, get in the truck and I want to push. <laughs> get in the truck? <laughs> he says get in the truck. You don't get in the truck. You don't get in the truck. He's going to close the doors. Oh, there's a cat waiting for you. No. Are you about a size 14? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sad for the lady, I'm sad for the hungry cat. <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, not the cat, dude. If only cats could talk, they would basically solve the murder already. Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Been in the water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. I feel like they're going to tell us what happened to the cat because they made the cat such a highlight. Like they showed a lot of it. So I, I'm pretty confident that it's okay. All the mutilation you see there is post-mortem. <gasps> okay, we are gonna see images. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. What he does with them takes privacy. He's in his 30s or 40s. He's got real physical strength and he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. Isn't this around the time when they started serial killer profiling? No, I, or was that in the 70s? I don't remember. Or 80s. If I'd sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. It's odd because I feel like she's already st starting to play into Hannibal's game. I don't think that... I think that she feels like she can uh, she can do something, she can get information, but I don't think that's possible. I think that Hannibal is going to do exactly that, get very hot, and then shut down once he gets what he wants. Dr. Lamar, let's take a look at her. She's got something in her throat. That's a bug cocoon. There's no way that could get way down in there like that. Unless somebody shoved it in there. He shoved a giant bug cocoon down her throat? Isn't... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. From what I remember, the bug cocoon isn't the cover of the movie like a bug coming out of the lady's mouth directly correlated convinced it looked like a type of moth or butterfly as i recall what do you do when you're not detecting agent starling sleep I try to be a student dr pilcher you ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer every day of my life are you hitting on me doc yes <laughs> cute Meet Mr. Acherontius Styx. Thought somebody grew this guy, kept him warm. Somebody loved him. Then why would you shove it down a murdered victim's throat if you loved and nurtured for this moth? Is this true, by the way, with Buffalo Bill? I've watched a lot of um, serial killer like documentaries and just videos on YouTube about them, but I don't know anything about Buffalo Bill. Okay, he likes women's clothing, moths, and owning a dungeon to kidnap women is where we're at. The dog's trying to answer you. Is he not enough for you? Catherine Martin, the 25-year-old daughter of Senator Ruth Martin, listed first as a missing person, is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer known only as Buffalo Bill. The president himself said to be, and I quote, intensely concerned. Okay, tell me what happened to the cat? Is the cat okay? She sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. It's harder to tear her up. He got a taste of murder, skinning people. He doesn't want to. He's like, I want to stop. He is my patient. I have rights. Please, I think you discuss this with him or you let me do my job. You understand? Oof. First, you hit on her. Now, she's telling you to call the U.S. attorney. A copy of the Buffalo Bill case file. This offer is non-negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Ooh, very good. Very good deal. He's gonna be like, mm, see, I like the whole walking on the beach on Plum Island idea, but I don't care. Let her die, is what he's gonna say. If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us to quid pro quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. About yourself. No. Quid pro quo. Not the deal. He's gonna use it against you. Don't tell him anything personal. She's breaking every rule. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. 
I actually really like how they're handling Hannibal's actor and the zoom-ins on his face because he did have, um, he has those creepy eyes, those creepy expressions. Plays it well. Really good choice of actor. Crazy. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Wait, isn't, that's where this is from? It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. That's where the line is from? It rubs the lotion on its skin? That's where the line is from? And the well? Now it places the lotion in the basket. What? He wants moisturized skin. I wanna see my mommy. I wanna see my He's whimpering too. He's getting moved. <laughs> she tried crawling out of the well. <gasps> There's a fingernail. <laughs> they scammed you, animal. Stand outside and shut the door. He's working against her. Why? Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own benefit as well. Oh, <gasps> he left the pen. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis. I told the rest of the senator himself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions of my own. He knows he can move him. Okay, so everything we know about Buffalo Bill, he believes that he is the wrong gender. Therefore, he possibly kidnaps women and tries to take their skin, maybe wear it? Don't know. Um... He likes women's clothing. That's why he was asking for her size and has all those mannequins. I'm assuming that entire place, put storage facility, was Buffalo Bill's because it had a bunch of clothes. And Hannibal didn't kill that person with the head. Maybe Buffalo Bill did? Welcome to Memphis, Dr. Lecter. I'm Lieutenant Boyle. He has the craziest look. It's crazy. His eyes just have this natural, like, savageness to it. Really the perfect role for this actor, honestly. Did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before you're both booted off the case? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. What? Why? The lighting in this scene is really cool too. It makes him look so much more menacing. We begin by coveting what we see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clary? And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Chocolate chip cookies? I covet chocolate chip cookies. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? They were slaughtering the spring lambs. They were screaming. The opposite of Silence of the Lambs. This acting is very good. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? you? Wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. And you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again. And you'll be able to hear the silence of the lambs. Thank you, Clary. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so the lambs represent something that happened in Clarice's childhood. She witnessed a bunch of lambs being slaughtered and their screamings. But the title is The Silence of the Lambs, and she's hoping that if she can find Catherine, the screaming of these lambs will stop. Maybe it does have a happy ending, just off of that basis. No! 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 no. Alright, now Hannibal is on the loose, you fools. I don't like that. One thing that I find really interesting about this about Hannibal is that he is so elegant and ha like has class and is very polite and seems to be like very sophisticated yet he has this animalistic savageness to him to his character that he can just control whenever he wants reminds me a lot of dracula story of dracula oh god One officer up, one officer down. Makes my stomach feel weird. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing, sir? <gasps> what? What? You're joking right now. That's not possible. How would they not realize that his face was fake? Like, how do you not see an, an extra layer of skin on top of someone's face, dude? 
Oh my gosh, she's sewing skin. I hate this movie. I hate this so much. Another thing I noticed about this film is that it goes from zero to a hundred, then from a hundred straight down to zero in no time. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. And he, and he can sew this guy. He's, he's very skilled. Starling, we wouldn't have found him without you. Nobody's gonna forget that. Thank you, sir. Wait, how did she get that? Because of the triangles. Was she someone that he was cool with and she showed him the dress? I don't Is this what I think it's? Yup. Yup, that's... I remember that scene from Family Guy. That's all I remember. <laughs> what if you Prince of Persia jump from each side? of the, the, not the elevator, the well. You know, maybe a little bit of these to jump up. Think about that. Oh, okay. Oh, cause he really wants to be a female, I see. She broke her leg on the way down. I know it, she's been licking Hey, it. don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! And you don't know what pain is! It is the house, unless it's not. It has to be the house. Wrong house! What's the problem, officer? Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. Wrong There's house. no one here, Jack. Clarice. Did you know her? Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Was <laughs> it described the great big fat person? That's what you say? The police around here don't seem to have the first clue. It's him. It's him. Girl, you shoot him. Shoot him and... Freeze! Put your hands in the back, thumbs up. Freeze! Oh my gosh, call girl, before anything, call the police. Oh, he's luring you down into the dungeon, dude. Catherine Martin! Yes! He's gonna be in there. He's gonna be in there somewhere on the ceiling. They're always on the ceiling. I don't know. I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now, you listen to me. I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No! Don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch! I, I'd shoot her just for cursing at me for trying to help her. He's looking right at her. He's, he's playing a game. I can't- I actually cannot handle this. This is nerve-wracking. She got him. She got him. Oh. Are you joking? The movie actually ends with a happy-ish ending. And he was collecting articles about him skinning people. Also, where's Hannibal? Because, um, he's gonna be in the very end. There's- he's somewhere. He's like, sorry, I have a dinner date with my best friend. Your father would have been proud today. Don't forget your phone call. Your phone Starling. call. Hannibal. Oh, have the lamb stopped screaming? Dr. Lenter. Don't bother with the trace. I won't be on long enough. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, he literally is having an old friend for dinner. Dr. Lecter. Very important. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <gasps> it's him. I have this crazy feeling in my stomach. I feel so uncertain and uneasy. Friendly psychopath, brooding psychopath. That's great. <laughs> that was something. Oh, that was really good. That was really good. I feel so uneasy. Like you don't know who's next to you, who's near you. Oh, I'm freaked out. I don't like this. <laughs> it's a good movie. So I just finished watching The Silence of the Lambs and let me tell you, that is not how I expected the movie to go at all. I had no idea that there were going to be such a huge emphasis on serial killers. I thought it was a psychological thriller. I thought it was like, okay, they're testing people or something. I actually had no idea what route it was going to take. And it was a pleasant surprise to see such an older film, such a classic film, without knowing any spoilers about it. Like, yeah, you've heard some of the quotes, like, uh, to put the lotion on its skin and, like, um, and the other one where he's putting on lipstick and stuff like that. Like, 
yeah, those made it into a lot of uh, cultural, it has a lot of cultural influence, but I never knew that it was from this movie, so it's pretty, it was really cool to kind of go through the movie not knowing what's gonna happen and it being such a classic and, and seeing these little, like, little tidbits, like the things that you've already noticed through culture or, or through different films or shows. So I thought that was pretty cool, but let's get back to the actual movie. The actual movie had me in suspense. The first half, I was kind of just getting into the film, kind of trying to understand where it was gonna go, what is Clarice's role, what is going on. But as soon as the second half began, it was almost nothing but suspense. You wanted to see what Hannibal was up to, what he was going, what he was planning. You know that he had this diabolical nature and he had, I can safely say, the epitome of evil. Like he had this hungriness in his eyes, this savageness, yet being so well articulated was just, it's scary. I feel like that's just scary in itself, you know? And it was kind of really exciting to see how unpredictable the movie was getting. The story was a, a roller coaster. The plot was really good. I liked the pacing. I liked that as soon as the second half of the movie started, that's when everything started like going down left and right, zero to a hundred, then back to zero. Um, and things just kind of started falling into place appropriately. I didn't think that it was gonna have a happy-ish ending. Anyway. After that film, it makes me question who lives around you, what is going on, what is somebody's true nature. It makes you kind of look behind you. you, you don't know a person and that freaks me out, you know. I don't have many films that affect me in that way and I think that this is just one of those films that do and I just, it makes you feel a certain way, it makes you think about things differently, you know. I don't like looking at skin now because the amount of... <sighs> skinned people we have seen in this film. Yeah, just a lot of skin. I, di I didn't like that. People with no skin and just skin on things. Um, I didn't like that. So I also don't do good with gore. So that made me uneasy, but I think just the whole, I think it's um, the whole psychological aspect of it was really good and I just really liked it. So thank you guys for choosing this movie. This movie was awesome and I can't wait to watch uh, the next film. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.